Hi guys, so I'm back at the castle again. Um, I'm going to take the opportunity to look at Bounty today. Um, I'm not necessarily going to let you sit through, you know, 20 or 30 minutes of slashing baddies, but uh, I'd like to give some tips on where and how to defeat all the enemies. So one by one we're going to go through. Um, when I have an applicable baddie that I haven't done, then I can make a video about it and we'll talk about all the tips and tricks on how to defeat them quickly. Okay. So, groups of rebel soldiers have went into hiding, hiding in gra various patches of grass and attacking unsuspecting victims. Those jerks. Okay. So, these are swamp soldiers. Uh, for anybody who's been here a long time, swamp soldiers are one of the original enemies. Uh, they would pop out of the grass and predictably shoot arrows. So I'm going to head down. Um, one of the things that is special about Swamp Soldiers is they do uh, shoot arrows, but they're not really that dangerous. If you can block those arrows with your shield, basically all you have to do is face the Swamp Soldier uh, and not push any buttons, uh, that arrow will just bounce right off. So if your timing is good, they're not very threatening. Um, another aspect to the Swamp Soldiers is that uh, they do appear in grass. So if you're trying to, um, you know, strike them, if you're going to attack them, uh, you have to make sure there's grass underneath them. Um, sometimes you can miss if they, they don't appear uh, immediately uh, when the grass is not there. It costs valuable time. Um, so I am walking right now. I'm going to walk to the swamp. Um, that's a ways down here. I could have switched to my horse, but I figure I had something to say, so I'd leave it as it was. So this is Swamp, um, it's the verge of Swamp Town. This is one of the locations you can find these guys. Basically anywhere between here and Myrmart. So it's in this general area that you'll find some. I know that there's a couple that have spawned just a little south from where I am. There are other areas. Um, specifically if you go up into this part up here, uh, World of Mirth, Little mm. Red Barn, oop, my map is all mm. glitchy. Mm. Yeah, so if you hide around in here, if you walk up in here, all in this forest on the side of the forest over here, uh, not near the stables, but everything else, there are swamp soldiers that appear. Um, so along this trail, you can find them as well. Mm. There's another location above here, uh, which is by the Fido's pet shop. Ooh, ooh. Wow, that map just loves to bounce away. Um, so if you go up in here, uh, there are some swamp soldiers that appear up in here in this area as well, near the bandit camp, uh, which is at the top of the map. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Of course, I'm dead. I can't ooh, back ooh. from that. So this area is really busy, but I find that almost nobody comes for the Swamp Soldiers. There's one there. Oh, wow. That was some timing. He just, like, dropped right on my head. Okay, well, apparently this is getting hijacked into a giant blob video. That giant blob is going to make everybody get a reward. Or hit some. Yeah, I don't think I've hit him yet. There we go. I think I hit him that time. Uh. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get 
this pose, though. Nope, no spoils for me. Okay. So I'm gonna go back up here and grab a box. And then there's this swamp soldier over here. Oh. There he is. So see, I had my shield open uh, when he shot his arrow. I don't think he's going to come back on that spot, though. There he is. Yeah, and he died. So somebody else had already hit that guy. So I'm going to take this bush. Uh, the bush actually works really well on the uh, Swamp Soldier. Basically, you can get two hits for one. Uh, reduces the amount of time that it takes to kill these guys. 50 is a, a lot. Oh, no, I've got a blob after me, too. That was really fast. Shot me and disappeared before I could even get him. Okay, so one hit. No, this is just not working. guys are some of the worst. Oh, I hit Got him. Okay, I finally killed that one swamp soldier. There's 50 to go. Mm, chances are pretty slim. Okay, so I'm going to take off from this location. It's not great. It's pretty busy here. There's a lot of people flying around. Uh, I'm gonna use the horse this time. Actually, you know what? Use my ring menu. If it lets me. Well, nope. it's not. been hijacked twice now. Okay, uh, switch out. Mount up. Oh. There's the ring menu. Oh, it's because of the bounty box. switch up to horse. Oh, it's not letting me do it. <gasps> they patched it. I have to walk. That's so terrible. Yeah, so it used to be the case that you could drop the box on the ground and then you could walk uh, a little couple feet away, uh, switch to the uh, whatever the mount that you wanted was, and then use the mount. Um, to basically speed up the process. Uh, I never really went for that when I was fighting any of the enemies, but uh, yeah, now that that's in effect there, you can't even use the horse to to speed over to where you need to get to. It's not a good bonus. We don't like that kind of extra development. I mean, it probably isn't what they had intended, you know, originally that you would hop on a horse. 
Um, but the uh, other issues with those are bombs and arrows you can't use and all kinds of other stuff. I don't know. The way the king sees the bounty, I don't know why it has to be killed with a sword. I don't understand. Okay, so I'm going to a second location where we can get those guys. I'm hoping it's not as populated and laggy. Okay, so there's somebody here. There's two somebody's here. Fighting the same guys. This is the second location. It's around access. Oh, easy. There's a guy. Oh, I missed him that time. It's definitely not as laggy as the swamp. The swamp was just too bad. Awesome. Okay, so I got a second guy there. Swamp ambush soldier in green armor. So originally all the baddies were the same. But these guys did pretty early. Same with spiders. seem to be spawning pretty quickly too, which is good. The, the ones in the swamp, it took a long time for that guy to spawn. Yeah, so this is the other location. Uh, I'm gonna grab a bush and show you what I mean about the bush trick. These guys have three hit points. Not that guy. Uh, the guards. Swamp ambush soldiers. Um, they have three HP. Uh, if you hit them with a bush in the first hit, uh, then you will be able to reduce their HP by two. <laughs> that's cute. It's like, guess what? I'm gonna kill you if you don't get to hit me. Okay. So, I'm gonna focus on this guy over here. Throw the bush, he takes it. it. See that? It went from two to one. So all I have to do is hit him one more time and he's gone. He's gonna be up there. So if you take a bush, or if you manage to have an area that has bushes like this, you can toss a bush at this guy first. It takes him down two HP. Oh, my bush lagged. Bush. There's a bush. Oh. See, down to two, uh, down to one actually, from two. And one more hit and he's gone. So that's the trick technique with uh, ambush soldiers. Pretty much everybody has some kind of a technique like this, and in this series I'm going to be showing you guys those. So if you're in a bounty but you don't really like the amount of time it takes, uh, stick around here and uh, I will show you all the tricks that I know. Maybe you guys can tell me a few tricks too. If there's something I'm doing wrong, let me know. If something that you figured out that works better, it's always good to share that. Because not only will it be good for the players who learn it, but it will also be good for the game. They can make more interactive or more interesting uh, combat. With the uh, the baddies. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was hers. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm going to go to the third location real quick here. Mm -hmm. There's a shortcut. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go up the mountain into the caves here. Um, another thing I should probably touch on is that there are no elite uh, ambush soldiers. So most of the baddie types have an elite, more difficult to kill uh, monster. Like they'll have, uh, if you look at the, the regular green rebel soldiers, uh, they have a gold elite. Uh, the other monsters, uh, some of them do, but some of them don't have a special elite unit. If you kill an elite unit, uh, you get an extra 250 grats. Uh, when you kill them, uh, 
if you kill them personally, then they will also um, uh, make your box shiny. So you're this little box that's following me around. See the little wooden box, the bounty box? It will glow. Um, I can confirm that other players don't see that. If, if it's sparkling, it's only you seeing that sparkle, unfortunately. Okay, so I'm heading up here. Uh, this is that Fido's pet shop. Come up on the left. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, there it is there. Oh, I'm going to digress for a second. I want a calico cat. Oh, it's calico cat day. I'm going to buy my cat. I'm going to buy my cat day. I have a calico cat in real life. I've been saving up some money. I got 12k up here, so I can buy it. I've already bought a bunch of little accessories and things as we go. So here we have spiders and a rebel soldier. But there, oh, right there. See? This is where we're going to see these swamp soldiers coming in. Oh, they already have one HP. I don't know if they have one, but you know, you know, they look. God, I don't know. Didn't get him. He's going to be stuck between these two green patches of swamp grass. Where is he? For some reason, they take a long time to spawn here. Like, to, after you kill that first enemy. I don't know if it's the way that the, the area, like the level, treats them, or if it's just a different version of those same enemies. I don't know what the reality is. There's these annoying things. Lions. I wish you could just eliminate them or turn them off, because those guys are the most annoying. Nothing like an enemy that, that uh, just walks towards you and constantly jumps on your last known position. It's just so frustrating. It's like, no, guys, I want to fight those rebel soldiers that are hiding in the grass. And they're like, mine? I'm gonna get you. You're mine. And now we got twice as many blobs. Try and corral them into a spot and kill them all. At least I've got a few seconds reprieve. There. Just a few. Where's that rebel soldier? I need him. There he is. Another thing is because the, there's so many grass spots here, those guys always spawn in grass. So, um, when we're fighting them in this area, they can appear in many locations. In some spots, um, other places in the Master of these Woods, for example, um, sometimes they only have like two or three locations that they can actually spawn, and it's easy to predict their location. Right, you know that they're not going to cross over uh, an em empty spot, whereas here they kind of go all over the place. Anywhere in this grass, those same three guys could appear. So it makes it a little difficult. But different challenge. Most players don't come here for uh, ambush soldiers. Not that I've seen anyway. I mean, maybe maybe it's old hat. Maybe there's some reason to do it somewhere else. Um, I haven't done this bounty in quite a while. But I'm not going to make everybody sit through it. So I will continue. Uh, and we'll go back to the castle. So basically, I got 11 out of 50. Uh, what will happen is... Um, once I hit 50, uh, I can trade it in. Oh, those blobs are relentless. I'm gonna have to do something where they're not shooting at me and jumping on me. Then I can really warp properly.
doesn't care. It's like, go away frog. You scare me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take shelter in the uh, pet shop here. Yeah, so um, what happens is you kill 50 bad guys. Those swamp soldiers, I'm not even gonna make everybody watch 50, 50 swamp soldiers. It's just not cool. Um, and I'm gonna add this on the end here. You can unstuck me which is a, an emergency command, unstuck me. You say that over your head and uh, you're stuck somewhere, or in this case, I just wanted to get back to the orphanage. Um, you can use that to warp. And it will also, um, if you're stuck on a wall or you're hiding somewhere uh, off the screen, for example, if something goes on that you're not, you know, at, 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 you're in, in, in an area that's out of bounds, uh, then you can easily just warp back. Sometimes it drops you in your house. Sometimes it drops you in a random bed. Uh, most of the time, I'd say probably 85, 90% of the time, uh, it will drop you right back there in the orphanage, uh, which is pretty central. Okay, so this is where you need to go um, for bounty turn-in. You go in this door here. On a Saturday, you can do it, but there's a guy who's um, blocking the way. Okay. You talk to this fellow here, and you notice he's got all the bounty box. We have no time to be wasting looking at an empty bounty box. Fill it up. Come back when you fill it up. Yeah, okay. Thanks, dude. You're leaking here. There's also some other people who show up in here. Uh, here's it really stinks in here. That's the worst part. Okay, smells like death, or does it smell like feces? Yeah, probably feces. I don't see any toilets in there, so that's probably what they're complaining about. Okay, so from there you get a thousand gralat, uh, talking to that guy down in that dank little hole. Uh, he takes your bounty box at that point, and he allows you to uh, collect your payment. If you have an elite baddie that you've killed, your box will be sparkly. If you talk to that guy when your box is sparkly, uh, then you will receive an extra 250 grillats. Okay, so that's about it. I'm gonna go and kill the rest of my soldiers. Uh, I hope you guys have a good day and that this was uh, useful to you. Bye for now. <laughs>